else who's here raise your hand if you're here raise your hand so i can see you if you're if your screen is not on then turn it on now because teresa's going to kick things off for your second of four mastery trainings today is going to be fun 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 teresa what are we going to give away first could it be the kitchen shears yes it could be the salad master shears are so good they can cut through your fingernails and your toenails at the same time. What I like best about them is, you can, was that funny? It was, I think it was funny. So you can take these apart, you can scale your flesh, you can scale a fish, you can cut a chicken thigh and leg like that. And you know what? You pop it in the dishwasher, stays sanitary. Every time you cut it, it self sharpens because it's I'm sorry, James, uh, you're, please unmute yourself. All right, um, was I muted the whole time? No, I just muted everyone and I muted you too. All right, well, we're gonna spin the magical wheel of prizes to give away the kitchen cheers. Are you ready to learn more and earn more? I think that was a yes, but you're muted. Okay, all right, Teresa, give it a spin. John and Josephine S A R S O Z A. Oh, are they in the house? Are they here? Josephine and John. All right. All right. Congratulations, guys. Good to see you. They are happy cookers. Proud to have our own family members win the kitchen chairs. Wanted to do a shout out to we've got uh, Cooking for Health on here. We got Hungry for Grace. We've got Sock Enterprises. We've got Precious Cooking. We've got Cooking for Wellness, Happy Cooking, uh, and we also have Master Direct coming all the way from Hawaii. We've got some corporate stars here, okay? We've got some big wigs here today, and I am nervous. So if I start sweating, it is okay. Now, I, it has been told, ladies and gentlemen, that I speak very quickly when I'm excited. And I'm really excited right now because we're merging into a new trimester. This is not a pregnancy thing trimester we've got the first four months of the year is almost complete okay and we're going into momentum mode which is inspiring and today i trust you will be inspired so here's what the game plan is number one get your brain ready to absorb and learn okay if your hand takes notes quickly great get your camera because we're not going to be emailing out this this powerpoint so take a picture of the information the key is, ladies and gentlemen, I will unload because we only have 90 minutes here with you today. The power of this is going to be integrating with a study buddy. Now, show of hands, I'd like to ask you all here today, who actually reinforced the information that was emailed out last week? Proudly raise your hands. Aurora, you're raising your hand. Gina, you're raising your hand. Victoria, Leone, congratulations. Students, okay. Those of you that didn't raise your hand, Okay, I'll tell you something. This is self-help, not shelf help. You know what shelf help is? Is when you get this wonderful book. Dorothy, I see all those books behind you there. You get this wonderful book, and what do you do with it? You put it on the shelf, and you go, that is a great book. The book only works when you take it off the shelf. This information only works when you choose a, a study buddy. Maybe it is your distributor. Maybe it's somebody at the, around the same level as you. Maybe a little bit more experience so that you can role play and collaborate. So to get this thing off on the roll, um, we sent an email out to the dealers. You should have the content here. I trust you've printed out this information. As we're going through this information, there's four documents. We're gonna zone in on two primary documents and the rest of the information we touch on and you can actually deal with this uh, afterwards. And so um, uh, let's get ready to rumble. Now, before we go to the solution, what do we wanna find out first, ladies and gentlemen? The problem, right? 10% of the time on the problem, 90% of the time on the solution. But before we get on the problem, what I'd like for you for a moment is just imagine that whatever your booking rate is, whatever your building enrollment rate of booking partners and new team members, whatever your closing rate is, whatever your dinner dollar average is, whatever your average set sale is simultaneously 
and incrementally improves. Okay, who would like that? Okay, this business, ladies and gentlemen, is an incremental compounded effect. When I started in this business, I was one of the worst, okay, uh, worst coach uh, consultants. In fact, I couldn't be call, called a cooking coach. I almost got fired. I think I was the only person in the history of Salad Master as an associate that almost got fired because my demo was so long and boring. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to teach you how to do a fun, fast, value added demonstration, but we're going to start off with some of the common pitfalls, ladies and gentlemen. So let's talk about some of the pitfalls uh, when you're presenting. Too long. How, okay, how long should a group, uh, a, a virtual show be? About 90 minutes, okay, maybe an hour 45, max. You start losing the attention span and more variables come into play where you can lose the crowd. Okay, if you're a face-to-face -face show, if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, two and a half hours. If it's a group, three and a half hours, okay? So learn to walk before you run. Don't do groups unless you can do a two and a half hour one-on-one -on -one show. Got it? Usually you got to have about 30, 40, maybe 50 shows under your belt before you add one other health conscious couple, okay? Um, so the show, maybe it's too long, okay? Um, or the show is, uh, it's too slow to serve. Usually the time in your demo where it absorbs time is the time between uh, cutting the salad and eating, okay, the serving portion, and then the cleanup portion from the time they eat and do the pot test, because there's a lot going on there. Uh, the rapport, do you jump right into the demo or you actually have a conversation with the people so that you don't just communicate, but you connect, okay? Talking to them versus talking at them. Who can relate to what I'm saying, right? Maritza, you can relate to that, can't you, okay? And so presenting versus promoting versus persuading. A lot of people say, you know what? I know the demo. I got the presentation down. I just need help on the what? Closing. Well, the question is, are you presenting or are you persuading, right? There's, a, there's an evolutionary thing where you give them the information, you educate them, and then you start promoting the information, okay? And then you actually start integrating some tips and techniques we're going to talk about today on how you can persuade. Not by pushing but by getting them to create a desire inside of them, an excitement that creates urgency. Building value. Do people see the cookware as a luxury or a necessity? I'll repeat that. Do they see it as a luxury item, like something I'd like to have, but I don't know if I could afford, or do they see it as a necessity item that is more important, okay, than anything else right now, okay? Price conditioning. Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, Everybody spends money, write that down. Everybody spends money. People are gonna spend money on this or they'll spend money on that. The question is, will they spend the money on Salad Master today, okay? And how you can help them justify the money by conditioning the price early and often and associating it with things that they're already spending their money on. It's called value-based shopping right sometimes people will spend you know thousands of dollars on computers where other people go that's a lot of money for a computer and they'll use a laptop for 10 years and they'll waste time trying to fix it other people will go you know i value a new car every three to five years they buy a new car where somebody will buy you know they'll drive the same clunker till it's 20 years old it's values it doesn't mean they're right or wrong but if we understand what people value and what they're spending money on we associate it with the product and we price condition it it makes it easier for them to say what What's the magic word? Yes. And we like that word, don't we? Say yes. Yes. I'm watching your lips. Say yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. And trial closing. You know, sometimes I used to do a demonstration and I would go into the bathroom right before the close. I'd say a couple of Hail Marys and I would say, I hope they don't say, I want to think about it. Okay. The reality is, ladies and gentlemen, we want to be test closing early and often. We want to get them thinking about ownership as soon as we start seeing the very first buying sign. We'll talk about how we go from, from if, if you get a set to when you get your set, okay? There is a subtle shift on when we take that. No humor. Do people feel that you're talking down at them? Do people feel that you're lecturing them, okay? Do you remember when you went to school, whether it be college or high school, right? And you're like, I don't, I hope they don't ask me the question. 
and there were talk the teacher would talk like this okay so are we lecturing or are we involving and engaging them okay with more interaction so ladies and gentlemen I wanted to open up these things just to open up so that you're thinking about some things that you're doing in your demonstration now that you could be doing a little bit better okay want to welcome all of you here that just jumped on the call here today i promise you two things number one i'm going to talk quickly and number two every word's going to count so make sure you capture with your camera okay and you also take plenty of notes i'm going to open up by talking about why salad master ladies and gentlemen there's lots of different cookwares out there there's different there's different stainless steel cookwares in the store there's different waterless cookwares on the internet, there's waterless cookwares being sold by direct sales. But fortunately, we have got a value added proposition, okay, that is unique and special, unlike anything else on the market. If we do not highlight all the keyword unique and value added benefits and stack them up like tiny little weights, many people think I've got something just like that. Have you heard that before, right? So I already have a good set of cookware, maybe from William Sonoma, and maybe they bought it from a distributor five, 10 years ago. I got something sort of like Salad Master. When you show the unique features and benefits and contrast how they're different, you're going to see more people automatically wanting to get a part of that. Now, I am going to open up. Just give me a quick little second. I've got several of these uh, documents we're going to be going through and screen share it is indeed okay okay salad masters competitive advantages some of you are looking at this right now because you've already printed it off so when we talk about competitive advantage ladies and gentlemen we do not start with 316 ti okay and i'm going to give you this as a great tip okay so many people go titanium 316 titanium 316 and people get brainwashed 316 titanium. So after the show, what do they Google? 316 titanium and every other company that meta tags to Salad Master on the search engine and tries to compare with us, automatically you've created yourself competition. Okay, so here's what we do. We talk about the, the value added total package. So number one, temperature control. There's nothing like it under the, on the market. There's whistle valve waterless cookware that cooks above boiling and above steaming. That's the only thing that's remarkably comparable, but that is very, very hot. The difference between vapor valve 185 and a steamer is how much? Steam 232 degrees Fahrenheit, temperature difference 45 degrees Fahrenheit. The difference between click, 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 and because there's other cookwares out there that do what? And if you want to trade them in, you have to make the differences significant. Write that down. The differences need to be significant. They can't be similar. They need to be significantly different. So we need to actually amplify the differences. So the vapor valve, what you're gonna talk, that's a feature. We're gonna talk about the benefits of those, okay? A feature is a noun, it's a thing. A benefit is a verb and ultimately write this down. A benefit is a feeling. And if people can feel the benefit, guess what? They get emotionally involved and they don't think about their head about money. Okay, money is a logical thing. People buy 100% emotionally. Now, handle system. Okay, Versalock, detachable handles. The even heat, we call it full body construction because there's other companies that say, we have even heat, we have seven ply, we have nine ply, but this is full body construction all the way through like a mini oven. Cooking surface, what comes in contact with your food? 316 TI, we all know about that. That's one of our signature features, but it's not the most important. The most important is the combined value added advantages, okay? So we've got semi-vacuum, okay? All right, does any cookware sold in the store have vacuum seal? No, the only thing is waterless cookwares, okay? Um, uh, economical, it pays for itself. I love that saying, it pays for itself. Can you see why so many people can't afford it? Say yes. Yes, why? Because it pays for itself beautiful okay carney isn't it a beautiful cookware magenda caldero isn't it right i know some people they wake up in the morning the first thing they do is they get their 16 quart roaster they start putting on their makeup and combing their hair that's how beautiful this caldero is okay so it is beautiful i have a i have an 85 year old customer she she buys everything 
Every month she calls me. Do you have something new? She doesn't buy it because she needs it because she's a widow. She buys it because that's her pride and joy. It's the most beautiful thing in her home. She's a collector and she loves it because it's what? Beautiful. Say that. It's beautiful. That's right. That's right. It makes a tear run down your eye. It's so pretty. And it's also, ladies and gentlemen, a what? A business tool. BYOB. It gives you an opportunity to be your own boss. This is a big deal, ladies and gentlemen. Don't underestimate the power of this because you know what? Com people will spend people will spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know, sometimes people will buy a vehicle at the end of the year just to, to, because they can appreciate it on their business. Do you know that? Not because they need it, because it's depreciatable. Okay. And so as a business tool, this allows you to have a significant viable business. Limited lifetime warranty backed by 75 years of excellence. Now, lifetime warranty, ladies and gentlemen, is a cliche, right? It's boring. How is ours different? How is ours unique? How is ours special compared to everything else on the market? Number one, we're backed by the largest manufacturer in the US. Number two, we service globally. And number three, we give you personalized local care, okay, and attention. Wow. Local, global, okay, and we're talking about stability of 100 years of manufacturing. Personalized service at you, ladies and gentlemen, if I'm going to close, the hardest thing I'm going to close on is my service, not the product. It's the, my commitment to helping them get maximum benefits from their investment. That, ladies and gentlemen, is priceless. Write that down. That is a powerful word. Okay. Somebody says Salamaster is expensive. Say, you know what? Salamaster is priceless. Priceless. And the priceless part of Salamaster is you and your unwavering commitment to excellence to serve, service them at the highest level. Okay. Of course, made in the USA and distributed through local businesses. Okay. Now more than ever, we need to support our local economies. Yes. Nobody's going to say no to that. Okay. Supporting your local economy made in the USA now more than ever. And these are the key life enhancing. Write that down, ladies and gentlemen. These are life enhancing benefits. This is the total value added package when you invest in Salad Master. Are you getting excited yet? Yes. I will share with you the entire de demonstration revolves around that little saucepan all the unique features and benefits and how this compares and keyword, write this down, contrasts. We never knock other people's pots and pans, but we compare the differences. We contrast the differences. Now, what we're going to go through here today, ladies and gentlemen, is an outline of the show. The outline of the show you're going to love. And I'll tell you why you're going to love it. It's because it's designed as a tool. It's an eight and a half by 11 double-sided, okay? Okay. Today, you're going to fill in the blanks. Tomorrow, we're going to email out the score, okay? The score basically is all the right answers. You print that out. You put it in a sheet protector. You take it on the dinner, and that is your demo in two pages. So if you've got to go bing, 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 and hit the top points, it's as easy as that. And so let's share this one now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready, Saurabh? Are you ready, Gina? Jorge and Isabel, are you ready? Don Gonzalez, say yes. Okay, I know you're ready. So hold on to your seat. So when we're talking about the cooking show sequence, ladies and gentlemen, it starts with the salad machine. Now I'm going to be talking about both virtual and face-to-face -face shows. Now I know a lot of you, about half of you at least, are going back and doing face-to-face -face shows. I love face-to-face -face shows. It is my joy, my pleasure. I, I, it's so much fun being face-to-face -face with people, truly. Okay, so my number one goal is to what? Remember we said, we said you, you know, last class we talked about having a booking mindset. Some people go, well, you know, I have a hard time booking dinners from dinners, getting referral. You got to open up. I want to help you. Think about that. With them. When a customer sees you, they have two perceptions. They go, number one, what are you trying to sell me? And number two, what's in it for me? They're always asking that. So if you want to talk in their language, W-I-H-F-M, what's in it for me, okay? You talk about the libre. You talk about the gratis. You talk about the free, and you get them to touch it. Now, the power of our demo is sensory rich. What do I mean? Integrating all the senses. See it, feel it, touch it, taste it, smell it. Oh, my goodness. How do you taste and smell on a virtual show? You got to get animated 
and you got to use descriptive words and get excited. You with me? So those of you, those of you going, you know, I'm not that great on virtual. There's also, we could do another demonstration on the pitfalls of virtual shows, right? Errors, common errors, weaknesses that people have. But the reality is, is you just got to get excited and you got to understand what you lack in taste and touch you make up for in your body language and your enthusiasm. So your number one goal is for them to do what? Dorothy, right? Is to help them earn the libre, okay? And by the way, I cannot say the word free anymore. So I'm gonna say bono, the bonus, okay? Help them get it as a bonus. Now, when we talk about rapport, okay, rapport. Here's some of the cue words for rapport. Give people a compliment. When you go into their home, look for something special. It could be a compliment on their smile. It could be a compliment, ladies, on the shoes. Oh my gosh, those shoes are beautiful. It could be the, it could be the purse, right? Okay, you want to smile. Now, sometimes you're like, you know, you're driving in traffic for an hour and a half or something and it's hard to smile. So you got to get yourself in state before you go in the home, right? Do a few breaths, get some oxygen in your brain, but smile. You'd be surprised how powerful a smile can be. Get your customer talking about themselves. How do you do that? Ask questions, right? Zig Ziglar says, is it more important to be an interesting extrovert or an interested introvert? Sometimes people think of a salesperson as somebody that's fast talking, somebody that doesn't listen and talks over people. We're really the most powerful the most powerful sellers are what? People that listen twice as much as they speak, okay? So sometimes the introvert can be extremely powerful if you use the power of listening. Ask questions, use their name often, okay? You gotta use Stella, you gotta, Digna, you gotta use their name when? Leone, often, right? Regilin, Marshall, how often do you use their name? Okay, you gotta use it so it actually sounds weird, okay? Right, Bart? Does that make sense, Bart? Bart, you're gonna love this. Every time Bart hears his name, all of a sudden it, it grabs his attention, okay? Um, you wanna uh, arrive early, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Now, for those of you who are Latino or Filipino, please, it's not a culture to be late. You want a culture of excellence. Vince Lombardi says 15 minutes, any 15 minutes early is on time. That means if you're 10 minutes early, those of you that showed up 10 minutes early, I seen your faces on here. Congratulations, you're here Lombardi time. Plan, you know what? Don't give the excuse traffic. Plan to be there early, even if there is traffic, okay? Dress clean and dress for success. You don't have to wear your expensive clothing, but you do want to dress sharp and you do want to be presentable. You do want to have a clean apron, okay? And of course, be enthusiastic, be tidy. What does being tidy mean? Okay, you've seen it when you get a brand new person chopping the machine, and food is flying all over the counter and on the floor, and you see the host is watching every piece of food hit the floor going, ooh, right? You've seen it before, and she's like biting her nails, like having a nervous breakdown that you're actually making her kitchen a mess. So clean as you go. When you do the pot test and you see all the baking soda all over the stovetop, what do you do? You wipe it down, or you get your helper to take care of that. These things solidify trust. These little things, get the hostess go come back again come back again you with me the little things make the big difference and now more than ever washing your hands often right i recommend each and every one of you take a right to serve food course safe food handlers course okay you can do this online for 10 bucks it's a two to three hour course it can be all video if you don't like reading right when you get a food handlers permit you understand about stuff that we people are just learning now about with through the pandemic when you sneeze right sneeze away wash your hands all the time you touch your nose you wash your hands you touch you 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 you, you touch the chicken you wash it with soap and water right i'll tell you those things are so important and you watch your new people like that so let's talk about the setup being organized you're in show business and the number one rule in show business is what Carney, you know this, the show must go on, right? Number one rule in show business. So that means, guess what? Okay, if one couple can't make it, show must go on. As long as you have one qualified couple, the show must go on. You're not feeling energetic, the show must go on, okay? So also, you want to set your stage. 
so, so it looks professional. So first thing is your cookware. You want to make sure your cookware is beautifully arranged under on the stovetop with the lights on so it's glimmering. You want to make sure that it's polished. That's why we glow, we polish it, we do the surface master all the time. Okay. Where do you put the cooler? Part of being organized. Park your cookware by the stove. Put your food in the cooler by the sink. I've seen people park the cookware on the other side of the kitchen, walk back and forth 10 times, right? Park your cookware by the stove park your cooler by the sink and unpack it all. I've also seen people during the demo, they're going up and down, up and down into their cooler. No, you unload it all into the sink and in bowls so you can focus and make eye contact with people. You like that? Good tip. Okay. All right. Now, two plates. So um, you, you can borrow, I, I borrow them from the hostess when I do a show. You're going to use it for the carrot test and the chicken. Um, and then once you use the carrot test, you use that for the cake afterwards. There's no point having too much stuff. Sometimes a hostess, you get her setting up all, it's too messy, too much, keep it simple, okay? Salad bowl, I recommend you bring your own 3.5 quart double wall bowl and, and use that as an incentive or a promotion, okay? Now I'm gonna take a look at some of the chats. Okay, can you send a link for the food handler's permit? Good question, Teresa. Uh, Verbs and Joyce, welcome, glad you could see it here today. Beautiful cookware, it is indeed, and aloha from Hawaii. So um, uh, when we talk about the setup, ladies and gentlemen, two clear glasses for that carrot test, uh, we wanna have hot pads or trivets for serving, all this stuff in advance, paper towels, dish cloths, all these things. I do not wanna start the demo and say to my hostess, hey, can I borrow this, can I borrow that? And have her running around all over the place. I wanna relax, focused on the show, okay? Now, what is this over here? You see this, the square. Those of you that know the uh, the legendary Wayne Fritz, he talks about you know this the square of the business and what is the square, right? It's hip to be square, ladies and gentlemen. And the square of the business is what? It's number one. It's book more shows, not get referrals. Okay, why do I say that? Because referrals isn't necessarily bookings. So book more shows, build build can be in the form of enrolling a booking partner. Or, or enticing somebody to explore the next steps of being a cooking coach. By the way, the best recruiters don't sign people up on the spot. The best recruiters plant massive seeds and follow them up and keep on following up and keep on getting people to the next meeting because the best people, right? The best people don't jump in. The best people, very rarely do you catch the right person at the right time. The best people, you're planting seeds and you keep on following up and you keep on following up, okay? So build, okay? Train, you're either training yourself or another person. So rule number one of a builder, never do a show alone, right? Bring somebody with you, okay? And by the way, if you're doing a show alone, you're gonna find your recruiting goes down. If somebody's with me, guess what? People do what they say. They go, oh yeah, I can see that. I can be your assistant. I could do what you do. And then finally selling. And everything that makes it work, ladies and gentlemen, is your attitude, okay? Remember we talked about you typing up, what's your vision, what's your mission, what's your values? Remember writing this down? Now, some of you go, well, you know, I read it down, I wrote it down, but I forgot. This is important. Take care of these little things. When you're focused on a vision and you're, you're living your mission every day and you're enrolling people in that, it, this business gets easy, okay? I'm telling you. So spend a little bit of time so you know what you want, ladies and gentlemen, and follow the square. Now, lifestyle questionnaire. Sometimes people go, well, I only got two hours through the show, so I'm going to skip the lifestyle questionnaire. Wrong. Okay? I would rather do a quality qualified show and do the close at another time and focus on qualified bookings and rush through to the get to the close. Okay? So... Lifestyle questionnaire, you let people know up front, we got three objectives, right? To help you get gifts, to show you an opportunity, get a matching set, okay? And uh, help you become an owner, all right? Now, I wanna ask these questions. I'm not sure, can you all see this? These are the three questions you find out before you start about the show. And by the way, this is selling any product. Find out what they have, find out what they like, find out what they don't like. If you wanna sell this opportunity and somebody's doing another opportunity, guess what you, you find out? Find out what they're doing. Find out what they like about what they're doing. Find out what they don't. Uh, find out what they like. Find out what they don't like, and then we compare and contrast. Does this make sense? That's how a pro does it. A pro elicits 
values before they jump in and start talking. Okay. So um, what do you like about your cookware? What don't you like about your cookware? And here's the magic. Have you heard about any health concerns about certain cookwares out there? Zip. Maybe they don't say anything. Have you heard anything about aluminum? They go, yeah. Da, da, da. Have you heard anything about iron or like some of that nonstick stuff? Now, it's not my job to talk right now. I'm asking questions and I'm planting seeds. And you bet I'm going to water those seeds. I'm going to fertilize them. I'm going to let them grow. So by the time the pot test comes into play, they're going to go, wow. Okay. So uh, let's talk about the flip chart. Rule, be enthusiastic. Okay. Uh, use your notes. Now, some of you go, wait, 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 wait. I don't even need a flip chart. I've done the show 50 times. I'm good. Now, you can use your laptop or your iPad now, of course, or you can use the bricks and mortar, old school flip chart, whatever. The point I wanted to make is you use it as a tool to show people that if you can do it, they can do it. Write this down, please. That is a builder statement. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, we're going to talk about building statements. Isn't this fun? Can you believe they're paying me to do this? You know, somebody's doing a side gig driving Uber. Okay, do you think they like driving Uber? Mm, you know, it's easy. It's easy because the app goes, okay, drive over here, pick me up, drive over there. That's the only thing people like about Uber, okay? Sometimes you can get decent tips if you catch the right time frame. But the re reality of it is it's not fun. It's not really gratifying kind of like this. So um, we want to we wanna make our flip chart fun, interactive, fast, before cooking, 15 minutes maximum. Okay, you want to get you want to get your your uh, flip chart down where it's 10 to 15 minutes before you're cooking. Anything longer than that, they forget half of what you said by the time of the show, anyways. Okay, because a good presentation. Write this down. What do we do? Opening body close, but in the opening we tell them what we're going to tell them. In the body we show them what we told them. And in the close, we tell them again. It's a repetition thing, okay? We tell them what we're going to tell them. We tell them and we tell them again. Okay, now, so 15 minutes, write it down. The cooking show outline. Here's what I like to see. If you've ever done a group show, you always got to find, have you seen a show before? You know what? Sometimes a friend refers a friend and they're already a salad master owner, but they're embarrassed to say it, right? You've, you've done a show. You've all done a show and you find out at the end, you go, oh, you know, I already have the cooker. What? Right? That's why you really want to know what, what they're cooking on in the beginning. But have you seen a show before? There's no obligation. But if you do see something you like, let them know there's a dinner bonus. You have to let them know at the beginning of the show, there is a bonus available today should you decide to invest. You have to plant that seed. They can't be thinking uh, in the middle of the show, so is this for sale? <laughs> Remember, that's one of the three sales. You say, your number one sale is booking. Number two sale is building. Number three sale is the product. Okay? So we stay clear on that one. No obligation, but if you like what you see, we have a bonus today. And the show's going to be about an hour before we eat and about an hour after we eat. Okay? So if you want to eat for an hour, it's going to take three hours. Right? Hour before you eat, hour after you eat. It's about two and a half, three hours. Now, let's talk about your, your testimony. Testimony must be dual-edged sword, product, and business, okay? Some of, you, some of you that have heard me speak before know this, but the question is, are you doing it? What do you love about the product, okay? Why did you invest, and why are you doing this business, and what you're enjoying about this business? You have to plant that seed right off the get-go, okay? Now, open house. Why do people want to come? So let's, okay, so why do people, people want to come to the open house? Okay, if it's a face-to-face -face open house, it's the food, okay? If it's a virtual open house, it's, it's healthy recipes, right? Okay, um, why else do you want to come? Fun, 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 fun. It's a blast. It's a must-attend event, okay? Why else do you want to come? Prizes games it's like a party okay so so hopefully your open house is fun okay and there's lots of prizes and things like that okay and of course we're going to explain what the biz which is the stock program 
okay, or bonus set program, however you explain it, okay, and tax benefits and YOB, benefits of your own business. And so, so we got to sell the open house. I'm going to give you a little tip, okay? Do you know what one of the highest paying skills is in direct sales? You know, right? What is it? Selling people on why they want to attend the next event. Okay. So you got to sell the benefits of the open house. Does this make sense? See, because sometimes people are not going to buy, especially on a virtual show, right? One third of the people don't buy on initial contact. They're going to buy on, on a second contact, one third of the people. So you got to get good at getting the next appointment. Okay. So let's talk about the problem. Enemies and nutrition. Write this down. Bigger the problem, the higher the urgency to the solution. Okay, so people, most people think the way they're cooking right now is okay. It's not a problem, right? Okay, but here is the problem. H-O-W, H-O-W, how, how you destroy the nutrition in your food by the way we cook the traditional way, H-O-W, how? High heat, oxidation, oils, and water. Now, some of you go, wait, wait a second. Some oils are healthy. Yes, but no heated oils are healthy. Okay. So when we talk about high heat, let's talk about traditional cooking. Boiling is what? 212. Steaming is what? 232. Microwaving is 400 plus. Air fryer, 400 plus. Pressure cooker, which includes what? The, uh, what is that pressure cooker called? Magic pot. Pot, Instapot, right? All that stuff is 400 degrees, all the pressure cook, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? So boiling, steaming, microwaving, pressure, and grilling. Most people think the way they're cooking is okay. It's not that bad. Bigger the problem, higher sense of urgency towards the solution. Oxidation, okay, what creates oxidation? Oxygen, okay? So the, the, the more exposure to uh, air, Light, heat, and time equals destruction of antioxidants, okay? That's what oxidation is, is destruction. You'll, nice word, right? Of antioxidants. That's a powerful word, isn't it? Destroy, destroy. Okay, now, yes, James, are you being animated? Yes. Now, everyone repeat after me. Destroy. Okay, you got to get animated. If you're going to do a virtual show, you got to get, you're, you're kind of like an actor, okay? This is a drama here that you're preparing for. Breathe through your diaphragm. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Oxygen's a good thing. And say it with your hands, right? Because we got to use the body language when we speak. Destroy. Okay, there you go. Gee, you guys are dramatic. You're so dramatic. Okay. It's okay to exaggerate a little bit, especially when we're doing virtual. Okay, so high heat, what are the enemies of nutrition? High heat, oxidation, and water. How? Okay, oxidation, that's what destroys the antioxidants. Okay, when we're talking about oils, we're really talking about heated oils. Think about this for a second. Is olive oil good for you, yes or no? Okay, that depends right? In small amounts, as long as it's what? Not heated. Okay. Did you know that healthy oils can break down as early as 300 degrees Fahrenheit? Did you know the healthier the oil, right? When you talk about flaxseed oils or oils that you have to have in a dark container and put in the refrigerator, those are very sensitive oils. They oxidize very easily. Remember, light, air, heat, and time. So you put it in a dark container in the refrigerator, lower temperatures in a sealed vessel to reduce what? The exposure to light, air, heat, and time. But they still will oxidize, won't they? Okay. So that's what happens to an oil. It creates an oxidized fat or a what? Trans fat. So you can take a good oil and turn it into a bad oil. There's a book from Udo Erasmus, Dr. Udo Erasmus, called Fats That Heal and Fats That Kill. Okay, that's a dramatic statement, but there's fats that heal and fats, fats, fats that kill. And an oxidized fat, a heated fat, is a, uh, a free radical and it causes havoc and damage to our cells. 
Okay, so when we talk about water, we know this with the carrot test, the color is what? Vitamins, and the flavor is minerals, okay? So why do people put salt on their vegetables? Because in the cooking process, they've lost what? The vital minerals, haven't they? Now, time, money, health, write that down. What are the three things that Salad Master saves? Time, money, and health. So let's quantify. By the way, you wanna become a good closer? Boom, boom, boom. You find out what's most important to them, time on your health. There's a hierarchy. They're all important. So when, when you ask a question to somebody, hey, what's more important, time on your health? And they go, money, and ask a question. So is money more important than time? They go, yes. Is money more important than health? No. So what's more important, money or health? Oh, it's health. So is health most important? Yes. No, there's no wrong answer because it's their values. You got it? It's not you. It doesn't make them wrong. If you value health more than time, but they value time more than uh, health, what's the right answer? It's the customer's answers, right? It's what they value, isn't it? Okay, so how do you, what, what do you save? Time, so how are you saving time? You're saving time three ways, three general ways. Prep, cooking, and what? Cleanup. So if somebody says they eat out at restaurants so they don't have time to cook, they work late, all this stuff, what are they looking for? time savings and convenience, aren't they, right? So they're telling you what the problem is. You just gotta be able to bullet point and show the many ways life is gonna be so much easier with salad master in preparation, cooking, and cleanup. Now let's talk about money savings. So if you're cooking for a younger couple, okay? On their hierarchy of values, what's more important? Getting financially established, financial security, or time, let's be honest. It's gonna be money over time in most cases, if somebody is a millennial and they're just getting established and maybe they've got younger children, okay, my, time is important, but money is important because they're, they're saving for a house or, or you know, they, they're paying off their student loans or whatever. So money is going to be higher. So we got to do a better job at what? Selling how Salad Master saves so much money and pays for itself. So let's talk about how are the ways? It's got to be reflexive. How's the ways it's, uh, that Salad Master saves money? It saves money on what? Energy, okay? Let's quantify it. 70 to 80%. How can we say 70 to 80%? Because there was a test done by BC Hydro and it's considered a power smart energy star product, okay? So um, energy. So what is what, what can that quantify 70 to 80%? Who knows? Depends on how big your house, depends on how much you cook, okay? Could be a dollar a day. Dollar a day, $30, $30 a month, could be, could be more, right? But that's what it could, could equal. Now, I'm not making claims, ladies and gentlemen, because there's variables, right? Okay, so how else can people save money? Eating out less. This is a big one. Now, people that eat out, do they want to stop eating out? Yes or no? No. Why? Because it's easy, it's convenient, they see it as a solution. So if you turn eating out as a problem, they're still not going to stop, but they're going to move towards a solution. Remember, you never tell people they're wrong. Okay. You just ask questions. Is eating out a lot the thing you really want to do? Like, is it the healthiest thing to do? Is it something that really saves you money? You know, you ask them in a form of a question. Okay. So eating out less, what could that, maybe once a week, that's an easy buy-in. Write that down once a week. Anybody can buy into eating out less once a week. That could be $50 a week. That could be $2,500 a year, right? So we quantify those money savings. How else can we save on money? Okay, maybe you save a little bit on oil. Maybe you save a little bit on vitamins. Maybe people are buying a lot of vitamins because they're boiling and steaming the life out of their food. I don't say it will, I say it might, okay? How else could it save money? It could potentially save on uh, uh, health potentially. Did you know if you get a blood test and, and your health is higher, then your, your uh, life insurance premium can go down? Do you know that's possible? Okay. Soon, soon health insurance is going to be prorated on, blood, on the results of your blood test. Interesting how that works. Kind of like you drive your car more, you pay more in insurance. You drive your car less, less insurance, less of a risk, right? So how else do you save money? Replacements. Okay, one time lifetime investment. Okay, and of course, business. How does business save you money? Tax benefits. 
That's a huge one. Never forget that, ladies and gentlemen. That should be the first thing that comes off your lip. Okay. How, how are the health savings? Okay. Well, um, more nutrition, number one. This is the big one. Okay. More nutrition, more vegetables. Why do people eat more veggies? Because it tastes better and it's more convenient. Okay. Okay. More veggies, more fiber. Wow. We're on a roll here, aren't we? Okay. Fiber is a big thing. Okay. And then uh, health savings, less oil. And my favorite one, no chemical reaction. Okay. So now who would, who here would like to, who here that's a consultant would like to fast track to senior consultant? Raise your hand. If you're a consultant earning 15% profit, who would like to, to jump up to 20%? Yeah. Would you like to do it the hard way or the easy way? Of course, the easy way. So you want to become a better builder, sponsor two people. How am I going to do that, James? Number one, you qualify. We talked about this the other day. Ask the question, who do you know? Who do you know? Who do you know? When you're getting your referral sheets, ask the question, who do you know that could be a candidate to do what I do? Who do you know that think would have fun doing what I'm doing? Who do you know that would be comfortable in this apron? Who do you know that uh, has a, is a people person? Who do you know that loves to cook? Who do you know that's passionate about health? What am I talking about? I'm talking about your clone. I'm talking about your next team member, right? And so, so you have to plant seeds, okay? First thing you want to be a great builder is do a fun demo, okay? Do a value-added demo. Next thing is ask the question to people. Are you making all the money you want to make? What are most people going to say? I'm doing okay. Why? Pride. Are you making all the money you want to make? Would you like to make more? doesn't matter what they say on the first question. Do, are you making all the money you want to make, Carney? Oh, I'm doing great. Would you like to make more? What is she going to say? No. Bill Gates would like to make more, even, even though he's, a, he's a, now officially, you know, uh, Microsoft is a trillion dollar company. Would, uh, next question, promote the open house. We talked about the benefits, the food, the fun, the prizes, the free, okay? Create involvement on the show. Make it fun. Get them spinning the machine. All right, get them to do things, get them to read a page on the flip chart. Okay, um, uh, make the demo easy. Okay, I'm going to give you a little symptomology, ladies and gentlemen. If people see your demo and say, I don't know if I could do that, guess what? You've got to, you got to simplify your demo, right? So while you're doing the demo, these are your favorite phrases. Isn't this fun? Isn't this easy? Do you think you, with the right training, you could throw the food in the pan? Okay. Um, uh, we want to use stories, third-party stories of people that are successful. And this is the M-O-S-T-T-Y-O-B. Most. M-O-S-T-T-Y-O-B. What am I saying? The mission. We talked about that before. Are you talking about the mission on your show for not only booking, but also for building? Um, uh, when we talk about the opportunity, it's not the opportunity for money. It's the opportunity to learn how to cook better cook healthier, be healthier, and learn about the business. I'm going to repeat those. When we're talking about opportunity, we're talking about opportunity for what? Learn new recipes, right? Learn more about health. Be a part of a health revolution, okay? And learn about business. We will coach you. We will teach you. We will guide you. We will mentor you. So number one, mission, opportunity, stock program. Okay, earn a matching set. Okay, tax benefits, team support. Did you know what most people think in the back of their mind? I don't know if I could be successful doing what you do because you've done it 20, 30, 50, 100 times. Of course, you're going to be better than that, right? Your job, core value of Salad Master is to empower other people. Okay, so we're talking about tax benefits, a team support. Travel Club, by the way, you know what? There's a special announcement tomorrow night at six o'clock. I'm going to let you know right now. Announcement of a travel club. Yay. Okay. And world-class training. By the way, I'm going to do a little stop here for a second. Just a quick little stop. And I'm going to ask the question. Okay. All right. Raise a hand. All right. Have you learned something so far today, Guy? Have you learned one thing? Mila? Yes? Okay. Because I'm going to ask you a little bit later. And if I pick on you, guess what? Okay, Sheila, we're going to ask you the question. So, so uh, Silvana, are you ready? Francis, yes. Glenda, Maria, okay. Back to the PowerPoint page two. Okay. So we talk about features and benefits, right? 
there's there's a saying that a feature tells and a benefit does what? Feature tells, benefit sells. Feature tells, benefit sells because because the benefit, ladies and gentlemen, is the it's the feeling. Okay, it's what's in it for me. So, um, so three sixteen. What is the benefit? Uh, easier to clean, isn't it? Right. I don't like to say easy to clean because that's relative, but I can say easier to clean. What's another benefit of having three sixteen? Little or no oil. Okay, you can say less oil, no oil. Okay, what's another benefit of 316? No chemical reaction, right? That's important, isn't it? Okay, by the way, you want to become a great closer? You stack benefits. One, two, three. Okay, thermal core, that's the even heat. What's the benefit of that? Cooking is faster. Okay, what's the benefit of, of that full body construction, even heat? Um, it actually helps with water less cooking, right? Even heat, less need for stirring. Okay, all right, vapor valve. What's the benefit of the valve? It cooks at low, low heat and what? Preserves nutrition. Okay, uh, benefit of the vapo valve is, is easy. Medium click low, right? Is all you need to know. Um, another benefit of the vapo valve, okay? Um, it's simple. You know, some of these things, uh, uh, you know, you've got a pressure gauge on them or it's boiling over and the lid sticks. This is simple. Valve clicks, turn it to low, okay? Um, let's talk about the VersaLock handles, okay? This is the word I like to use, versatile. Versatile, what does versatile mean? Versatile means cookware, servingware, bakeware, storageware, totalware. Not underwear, totalware. Come on, smile. Okay, some of you are too serious. Okay, we've got 40 minutes left. Is your brain ready to receive? Yes, okay. So versatile, cookware, servingware, storageware, bakeware. What else, what's another benefit? Is it space efficient? So it saves space in the cupboard, doesn't it? Okay, and here's another one. Is what most people don't realize with the handle, it balances the weight to take the pressure off your wrist. So people with carpal tunnel tendonitis, it takes the pressure off the wrist. And it's great for uh, aging baby boomers, seniors, people that it might be a little bit harder to lift. Okay, so balance. Uh, it's orthopedically designed. I don't even spell it right. So orthopedically designed. So now let's get into cooking. We're already into the cooking. How long is it going to take to cook? 35 to 45 minutes. If you're spinning the machine and talking at the same time, it shouldn't be more than 45 minutes. Got it? Okay. While you're cooking, think of some jokes. D does anyone tell jokes on their show? Now, please, a joke is strategic. It's not a comedy show. You're not distracting people, right? You want to give a little bit of education persuasively and tell a joke, okay? You want to make it entertaining, okay? My wife laughs at me. She goes, I can't believe. I can't believe he's been telling the same joke for 25 years and still laughs, okay? Well, the reality is I laugh because they're laughing with me, not at me, okay? Now, um, uh, uh, so let's talk about the chicken. Remember, the three things we're showing it saves is what? Time, money, health. Each pan, ladies and gentlemen, is a demo. You got it? Each pan is a mini demonstration. I can actually... I can do a demo and cook one thing and just build so much value and talk so much time, money, and health savings with this while I'm cooking. It's not about the recipe. It's about the benefits, right? And so when we talk, give examples of how frying chicken saves time. Well, we can do frozen to finish, right? Okay. Uh, how does it save on money? Okay. Well, your oven is not on for 45 minutes. It only takes maybe 20 to 30 minutes, okay? And you know, there's a lot of things you can talk about your oven, turning on your oven at, at, at 400 degrees Fahrenheit at a 220 volt, 
is, is like having a hundred light bulbs turned on in your house, right? Now think about this for a second. That is the energy draw when you have your oven on and your oven roasting. Think about that. Very expensive. Go outside when you turn your oven on to 400, 450 and see how much electricity is being consumed, okay? If you have a hundred light bulbs in your house, what do you do? Always turning them off, right? Okay, yet how often do we use them? How does this save on health? Well, obviously um, you're getting, without the skin, without the oil, it's one third the calories. Did you know that? Fat is a very, is, is the most densest form of calories. There's nine calories per gram of fat, okay? One, one level tablespoon of oil is equivalent to 120 calories. So imagine, Imagine, they say that if you cut back one tablespoon of oil a day, okay, in six months, that can equate to one pound of lost fat. Now, if you add one tablespoon of oil in your cooking every day, every year that adds, or every six months, it adds one pound of stored fat. Think about that for a second. Ladies, right? When you're 20, you could eat anything you didn't put on the fat. But what happened? One pound here, one pound there, right? 10 years later, 10, 15 pounds. 10 years later, 10, 15 pounds. That's how it works. So imagine if all you did was cut back one tablespoon of oil. Powerful, isn't it? Okay, so no skin, no oil, but crispy. Now, for my Filipino friends out there that like the lechon and the crunchy, right? Well, you can have the crunchy without the skin. No skin, no oil, okay? Now, this is where we talk about price conditioning, okay? When you shake that oil and you build the value and you talk about the, you know, the, all the versatility of this lifetime guarantee oil core skillet, let them know the price, okay? Can you imagine this skillet is $1,200? Pause, okay? And it's our number one seller. Okay, why are so many people investing in Salamis? I'm going to take a pause, write that down. You got to say that at least three times on your demo. Why so many people are investing in Salamis? Three times. Can you see why so many people are investing in Salamis? Okay, now this pan alone is 1200, oh, 1200 bucks. Okay, but it's our number one seller. Do you know why so many people are investing in this pan? Well, Right, third party studies show that it can pay for itself in as little as three to five years in oil savings and energy savings. You see, I can say that because it's true. I can also say it because I also explain how it will save time, save money, and improve health earlier. Does that, does that make sense? It can pay for itself in as little as three to five years. How oil savings and energy savings that's a pretty bold claim, isn't it? Now, here's the beauty. But you know what? Most people get it as a bonus for investing in their set today. So if you like the cookware, even with the smallest set, this can be a bonus free gift as an incentive for getting it today. I'll tell you more about that later. I'm gonna let you pause and just think about that for a second because the number one objection most people have when they do a demo is not that I don't like the product. Most people go, I love the product. I like you, I trust you, right? I'll share this with my friends. You know, it's just something we got to think about or it's not the right time. Does this make sense? You've heard this before, right? So what we want to do is, right, there's a thing called FOMO, F-O-M-O. -O. Have you heard of FOMO? Right? What is FOMO? Fear of missing out. FOMO is a powerful thing, ladies and gentlemen. That is why some people can lose a lot of money in the stock market because they chase a stock all the way up and they overpay because they're afraid of missing out. Make sense? Bitcoin. Oh my goodness, it just went up $5,000. I'm afraid of missing out. Boom. And then it drops $10,000. Okay. FOMO. So, okay. We talk about as an, this can be a gift as an incentive. If you decide to get a set today, even with the smallest set, you can get this $1,200 gift. Isn't that great? I'll tell you more about that later. This is called planting seeds. I'm not closing. I'm planting a seed. So they're kind of expecting in the back of their mind, I like that skillet. How do I get it for free? You with me? Is this making sense, folks? Okay, next. Okay, so let's talk about the rice. Why is the rice exclusive? 
What's special? What's unique? If, if it's not unique and special and exclusive, they're going to go, well, I got a race car. You with me? you got to make a big deal about how unique and special this is. The benefit, number one, okay, is it comes out fluffy, okay? And you have to explain why it comes out fluffy, okay? comes out fluffy because it's cooking bottom up, top down, sides in, the oil goes all the way through, perfectly even heat. Every little rice kernel has is the care and attention to have the heat all the way around. That's why it puffs up with pride. It puffs with pride, Victoria. If you were a if you were a grain of rice, you would want to be proud to be cooked in Salamaster, wouldn't you? Of course. Okay. So um, uh, so it's fluffy because it's cooking all the way around. Okay. What's another benefit, ladies and gentlemen, of, of rice? Is if it's white rice, it comes out super white. Now you're going, really? Does it come out? It comes out super, super white. Why? No aluminum reaction. Okay, compare. You ever notice in a regular rice cooker, if you let it sit in the rice cooker, the longer it sits, it goes from gray to yellow to brown. Why is white rice going yellow and brown? Get them think about that. It's visual. It's right, the aluminum. Okay, all right. What's one thing that's good about aluminum? No, it's not forgetting your problems. It's cheap, right? That's probably the only thing that's good about aluminum. But it's disposable. You have to buy a rice cooker every couple of years. That's too expensive. Buying a rice cooker every two years does not make sense. Doesn't it make sense to buy it once and have it forever? Now, third-party story. Okay. All right. Now, this is my story. So you can't say, I was on a show and this happened. And you're not going to say, oh, this friend of mine, James, was at a show and this happened. No, that's not as authentic. But what you can say is we, we as the family of Salad Master. Okay. So we were at a show and this lady, right at the beginning of the demo, she comes right in. She goes, is that a stainless steel rice cooker? And I go, yeah. She goes, I want to buy it. She didn't ask about the price. She goes, I want to buy it. And the husband goes, whoa, 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 whoa wait a second. How much is it first? And at the time, it was $900. Now it's like $1,100, right? So at the time, it was $900. And the guy goes, $900 for a rice cooker? That's expensive. And then the wife looked at him. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about, that look. She looked at him and went, excuse me? Expensive? You don't know what expensive is. Every day I come home after working and I have to slave over the kitchen to cook a meal for the family. When I'm done, who does it clean up? She goes, let me tell you something. It's not about me. She goes, I've been doing research about rice cookers and I don't want our family cooking on aluminum anymore. Well, the good news, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? And then she said, since we've been married in the last 10 years, we bought three rice cookers. And folks, you know that you can spend easily $100, $200 or more in rice cooker, right? She goes, how much more money do we have to waste? The good news is they got the rice cooker. The better news is they got it for free with their set. And, and a, a little bit later, if you like the rice cooker, I'm going to explain how you can get that with your set as a free. Now, do you see how that story is beautiful? Because what are we doing with that story? Number one we're addressing the money, okay? We're bragging about the money so people aren't going in their head, oh, that's expensive. We're justifying it through a story. Is that powerful? And then we're also tying it in the end how it's free with the set. Story sell, ladies and gentlemen. So incorporate more stories, your own personal story, and start using third-party stories. Do you like that? Say yes. Okay, now... Some of you who do the vegetable medley, peas, carrot, corn, cabbage, whatever in there, um, how does it save time? It saves time because you got three vegetables to, uh, in one pan, one pan to clean, right? Um, uh, how is it healthier? Well, you're getting more fiber, okay? Uh, it's, it's healthier because you're, you're cooking at ultra low temperatures in a semi-vacuum. You may want to write that down. What's unique and special about Salamaster? 
Okay, and I will talk about this on the science of salad master if you've ever seen the, the video. It says salad master is scientifically designed. Salad master is scientifically designed to tenderize your food at ultra low temperatures, not just low temperature, because I my pan I can turn it on to low, right? Salad master is scientifically designed to tenderize your food at ultra low temperatures, below boiling, below steaming in an oxygen-free environment to protect the vital nutrients in your food. Scientifically designed to tenderize your food, below boiling, below steaming, ultra low temperatures in an oxygen-free environment to preserve an average of 93% of the life force of your food. So, that when you consume the nutrient dense food, you can look better, feel better, okay? And hopefully live a happier, healthier life, right? So it's not just about the food, but it's the benefit because when you consume that nutrient dense food and you consume those delicious flavors, all right? It is vitality. It is vitality in every single bite, okay? And ultimately, it's designed to help you look better, feel better, and live the life you desire, okay? So what we're talking about is if you can get that down as a rant, ladies and gentlemen, where you don't have to think about it, you just go salad master, scientifically designed, calibrated to activate at ultra low temperatures, below boiling, below steaming, and in an oxygen-free environment to preserve the majority of the nutrients of food. So when you consume the food, you feel great, you look great, okay? And, and you can live a better quality of life. So... Am I making claims? No, I'm not making any health claims, but I'm talking about the benefits. Now, okay, why is it exclusive for the way we cook the vegetables in here? We can explain the wedges. Now, this is a visual. Some of you don't have wedges. This is a cutout of the Salad Master cookware showing full body construction. In comparison, this is a cutout, not sure if you can see this, where it's a regular cookware. This happens to be an expensive waterless cookware that heats only from the bottom and not from the side. By the way, the majority of pots and pans sold in the market heat even on the bottom, but not on the sides, okay? And they do a nice job of baby of, of making sure the edge so you can't see it's a slab bottom. You gotta cut it open to let them know that it doesn't heat all the way around, okay? So um, so what's what's the time time savings, health benefits of, of, uh, a, a, of a cake? Well, time-wise, it only takes 15 to 20 minutes versus in the oven, Okay, again, we're comparing. In the oven, it's like 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the size of the cake. Okay, money, how does it save you money? Well, uh, it saves you money, so you don't have to buy a cake. You can make it at home in 15 minutes. It, uh, uh, money saving, uh, health benefits, it's no oil. Versus what? Half a cup of oil. One third to half a cup of oil is a lot of calories, isn't it? How is it healthier? You're putting veggies in there and you're putting in fiber, okay? So, so we just wanna just summarize real quickly some of these benefits. So now we, cut, we, cook the sh we cook the food. After we cook the food, we ask the questions, okay? Do you like the machine? Smile and nod, raise your hand. Everyone repeat after me, okay? Okay, raise your hand. Why am I raising my hand? Because the body speaks louder than words. Okay, so when you're when you're doing a presentation, this is even more important with a group presentation, you got to use your body. Okay, but the body speaks louder than your words. So raise your hand. Who likes the machine? Yeah, raise your hand. Yeah, you like it? You like it? Okay, do you, do you want to get one as a bonus gift? Yes? You want to get one as a bonus gift? Yes? Keep your hands up. Yes? Okay. This is so important. Okay, because if they tell you they want the machine, then you can tell them how to get it. Does this make sense? If they don't tell you that they want the machine and they want to, they want to get a bonus one, okay, you can't tell them how to get it because it's pushy. So you want to be good at what? Getting referrals, qualifying referrals, getting instant booking. So you qualify. You like the machine? You like want to earn one for free? Perfect. Your first step, make a list of 10 names. We talked about this last time. We're not going to get into this, all the details of it, right? 
But uh, what we want to do is we want to get them working on the 10 names while you're serving the food. Write this down. When do you get the 10 names? While you flip the chicken, while, you, while you're tossing the salad, while you serve the food, while you're rinsing the cones on the salad machine. That's part of your cleanup system. Get the cones clean and out of the way. Don't throw the machine in the sink and create a big mess. You got to have a system. Part of your system is dirty on one side, clean on the other. First thing you clean is the cones. Second thing you clean are the lids. And the last thing you clean is the pans. Make sense? And when you rinse the lids, rinse them in hot water so they pre-dry themselves because they'll evaporate. Ah, good system. Okay, I used to do group dinners on my own back in the day because I wasn't a recruiter. Okay, I did it by myself. Now I'll never do a show alone. Okay, so semi-vacuum. Here's what the serving, ladies and gentlemen, is a demo. Did you know that? Serving the food is a demo. Okay, do not crack the lid of your lasagna, your vegetables, your synagogue, or anything with the lid on. Don't, do not, I repeat, do not crack the lid until you get 10 names on your referral sheet. Why? Because the booking starts here before they pick up the phone here. You with me? They've got to go through the memory jogger in their mind. It's, it's a preliminary process. So what am I there for? Number one goal is the book. Step number one, make a list of 10. Okay? So now when I'm serving, I want them to feel the vacuum. Why? It's sensory rich. Touch, touch. Right? Some people are very kinesthetic and they got to touch and feel. Feel the vacuum. Oh, that makes sense now. Notice the seal. Talk about the benefit. Benefit, benefit, benefit. Because of the semi-vacuum, it seals in the moisture, seals in the flavor. You're going to notice when I crack the lid, the vegetables are beautifully colorful. Check it out. Dun, da, da, da. Shazam. Okay. So when you're serving, I'm, I'm kind of exaggerating here a little bit, right? But when you're serving, get excited about it. Okay, come on. Now, you might have the husband over there, the wife. Get them together. Guys, you got to check this out. This is amazing. Get them to watch it. Crack the seal. Crack the vacuum seal. Notice the colors of the vegetables. Take the handles off, right? Stove top to countertop. Look at this. Click, 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 click. Okay. And with the rice, if you're Asian, make a big deal about the rice. Okay. Now, when you see this rice, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you do not look at it too long because it's so white, it might blind your eyes. You ready? Okay. All right. Be ready to turn your head if it's too bright. On your marks, crack the boom. Look at how fluffy this rice is. And fluff it up. No sticking on the bottom. Look at how beautiful. La la. Okay. So the proof is in the pudding. Make a big deal about the serving. And when you serve, tie down the benefit, benefit, benefit. Okay. So while they're eating, okay. What are we going to show? The EOC, the electric skillet. We're going to show the cleanup. We're going to show them before and after. Okay. We're going to pour water in it, pour the water out, wipe it. Okay. And when we wipe it, what are we showing? Okay. We're showing easy cleanup. We're going to talk about lifetime. Okay. How many, how many electrical appliances actually come with a lifetime? Okay. And we're going to talk about immersible. Okay. Underwater. So it's an electrical appliance that, that it really is as a lifetime and it's fully immersible underwater. Now, let's talk about the cake, right? We show the cake. They're already eating, okay? The cake is still cooking. If it's not ready, no problem. Okay, let it set, flip it over, test it, bring it out, da, 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 da. make a big deal about the cake. And then we can ask them questions. Do you like the taste of the food? Can you see how this would save you time? Can you see how this would be more convenient? Okay, is this all making sense? So this is a, okay, Gina says, what was the tablespoon of oil facts again? Uh, one, one tablespoon a day equates to, this is based on the same metabolic rate, meaning that you're you know, not raising or lowering your metabolic rate, but if you do the same thing, one tablespoon a day is equivalent to one pound of stored fat every six months, okay? All right. The rice turns yellow because of the aluminum. That's correct. It's a reaction, right? The minerals of the rice react with the aluminum. It's called aluminum hydroxide, okay? So, all right, so let's kind of go into the instant bookings. Write this down. I need your help, please. I'm new. I'm in a contest. Could you at least try? Thank you.
Okay, so let's kind of go through this one. Okay, um, you know, I'm in a very special contest. Um, the company has got this Tesla. I'm in a very special contest. We're, we're in a travel club. I'm in a very special contest. I'm trying to earn my free set program. I'm in a very special contest. I'm just getting started in my training. Got it? If you could help me, I would be thoroughly grateful. Now, some of you are going, James, are you groveling? Yes, I am a bit. It's okay to beg eloquently, okay? Ask for the favor, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And you know what? In all else fails, I'm new. I'm new. If you're not new, you're training somebody new, okay? So, um, you know, I'll say, you know what? I, hey, guys, I just want to let you know, this is not about me. This is all about you. And when you do it now, you're really helping Victoria. She's, not, she's very humble. She's not going to say this, but she's in training right now. And you're really helping her out when you make that call today. You see how you tie it back in? Everyone wants to help the new person. Okay. So, and if they go, well, you know, they're working right now. It's a little bit late. Right. The amateur goes, okay, I'll call you tomorrow. The pro goes, could you at least try? And pause. Could you at least try? Pretty please, with a little bit of icing sugar, right? Sprinkles on the top, little cherry, maraschino, Italiano. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. So ask for the favor. Now, when we qualify, ladies and ladies and gentlemen, okay? When we talk about champs, champ formula, you got to coach your hostess for getting you the right people. Couples that are health conscious, right age demographic, right money demographic, right attitude demographic, right? So... Before you get them on the phone, you've got to coach them to call the right people. Because if you don't coach them, they get on the phone, they call these people, and you're like, ah, these aren't very qualified. But you're obligated to cook for them because you didn't coach first. Qualify, and then coach them on what to say. And when we coach them on what to say, okay, we want them to talk about the food, the fun, the favor, and the free. The food, fun, favor, free. Don't get your hostess to book the appointment. Get your hostess to have the, the couple just say yes and then pass the phone. You got it? Their job is not to book. Their job is to get the yes and pass the phone. It's all about the four Fs, not the two Ps. And the four Fs are what? Okay, the food, the fun, the favor, the free, not the product, not the price. Got it? Okay, so that's what we mean by coaching them. Because sometimes, you know what happens? They get diarrhea of the mouth. They go, blah, 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 blah. And they start talking everything about the product. And people go, oh, I, at Salad Master, I heard of that one before. Isn't it expensive? I don't know. I don't know if I can afford right now. I'll do it maybe later. But, you know, we're kind of busy right now. I'll have to talk to my husband. Can I get back to you? That's overqualified. Okay. Now, we talked about this before. Booking the dinner date, it's got to be win, win, win. Okay. First of all, their friends need to win right? How do their friends get to win? They get a free meal. Their friends get valuable information. Okay. All right. Okay. How does the hostess win? They can get uh, the food processor, right? Or whatever gifts, hosting gifts. Okay. And how you win? You're in a very special contest. You're new. You're trying to earn the, the set. Okay. You're in training, etc. You got it? Please thank you. The magic words. So are you learning stuff? Are you glad you came? Do you feel like tipping me? Yes, yes, yes. What percentage? Okay. So, all right. Um, uh, you know what? We're getting down to the final wire here, ladies and gentlemen. So, okay. Who's still alive and awake feeling great? Raise your hand. Okay. Who's willing to le learn more so they can earn more? Who's learned at least one or more things? Raise both hands. Yes. Okay, well, give yourself a round of applause. Okay, and congratulations to all of you keeping your engagement 100% with your cameras on. Okay, when you have your cameras on, you know what that tells me? Okay, it tells me that you are accountable, putting yourself on the line. Glenda, good to see your uh, uh, Aurora. I do that all the time. Sheila, good to see your camera on. Okay, Kathy and company. Look at that. We got the family. Debbie's outside. It's still it's still uh, light outside there. Okay, so um, let's go into the final finish here, ladies. Y'all move even more focus and intensity. Are you ready? Say yes. Yes. Okay. So 
All right, let's get back to basics here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, now the pot test can make or break your show, okay? So let's talk about the full part of the pot test, how the, the, the pitfalls of the pot test. Number one pitfall, too much water in the pants, okay? Too much water in the pants is a number one faux pas. Number two faux pas is not enough heat, especially if it's a gas burner, you gotta pay attention to the amount of flame, okay? And the size of the pan, bigger pan, bigger flame, right? Okay, so too much water, not enough heat, and the third faux pas is not enough time, okay? So how long do you boil it to? What's the answer? Until, okay? Until the water. Normally I start with less than a half an inch and I boil it down to a quarter inch, okay? Usually that takes five minutes. Sometimes it takes seven minutes, depending on the stove, depending how thick the pan is, pay attention to how much water is left in the pan, okay? That will make the difference. So, okay, starting water is not an inch, it's half an inch, got it? Boil it down to how much? A quarter inch. Now, some people say, James, shouldn't it be a cup of water? No, it should not be a cup of water in each because some pans have more surface area and will boil it off faster. Some pans are smaller and it's gonna actually be a deeper amount of volume in there, okay? Baking soda, one tablespoon, right? Um, uh, how much heat? High heat. Okay, and how much time? Until. So when we talk about high heat, ladies and gentlemen, okay, we're talking about as high as it goes to it actually flowers at the bottom of the pan without curling on the side. Once, if you turn a small pan on too high of a heat, even though it's a higher heat, it's not going to boil as well because it's not underneath the pan. Does that make sense? As high as possible, okay, so that it doesn't flower out to the side of the pan. Now, the sequence is always salad master first, right? Okay, what comes after Salad Master? It's going to be uh, uh, aluminum bottom, not aluminum cookware, but aluminum stain, aluminum bottom stainless steel. What's next? Okay, it's going to be uh, copper stainless steel. Okay, so if you have stainless steels, okay, Salad Master and the evolution is bad to worse. Does that make sense? Why do we go bad to worse? So that it's all bad. So if it's bad and not so bad, they actually contrast saying, well, that's not so bad. But if it's bad, bad or baddest, worst, okay, then they're all bad. That's the generalization. So aluminum, copper bottom, carbon steel, which is old waterless cookware. That would be your stainless steel, okay? And then, okay, your nonstick. Now, do you need to do a rice cooker if you do a nonstick pan? No, but you do a visual and you pull out the rice cooker and you say, this was like your rice cooker. If they have two nonstick pans, copper nonstick, green nonstick, black nonstick, ask them which one to do. I usually choose the newer one. The newer one or the one that they think is more expensive. You got it? If they think it's better, they go, oh, mine's not Teflon, mine's ceramic work. Great. If they think it's ceramic nonstick's better, that's the one you bought. Okay. So talk about the closing questions. After you do the pot test, don't just run and show the sets and, oh, okay, let's, let's eat some cake. Be strategic, okay? So closing question, question number one, do you like the cookware? And zip, wait for an answer. Now, you know that they're gonna say yes, but it's not them saying yes, you're listening to how they say yes. You're listening to the body language. You're watching the lady kind of shrug her shoulders and look at the husband. What does that mean? She's looking for validation, isn't she? She's looking for the husband to go, yeah, it's okay, honey. Okay. Um, you ask the question, so do you like the cookware? And they go, well, yeah. What does that mean? They're a little bit hesitant. Okay. Um, uh, do you like the cookware? Sorry, just a sec. Can you get my phone, please? Thanks. All right. Sorry about the delay there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Back over here. Okay. So the two closing questions, do you like the cookware? Pay attention to how they say what they say. And the second question is, if it fit your budget, would you be interested? Okay. 
Do you like the cookware? They go, oh yeah, 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 we like the cookware, da, 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 da. And say, okay, fantastic. If it fit your budget, would you be interested? And they go, yeah, they're gonna say yes, no, or maybe. If they say yes, assume the sale, show the sets. If they say no, find out why. Don't show the sets until you turn it into at least a maybe or yes. Okay, answer the objection. If they say maybe, okay, don't proceed. Take, get a commitment. Say so you say maybe, well, let me ask you a question. What would be the number one reason why you'd wanna get it today? Here you go, that's a good one. What's the number one reason why you wanna get it? Well, because of the health, da, 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 okay? And say, well, if there was one thing causing you to hesitate, what would it be? Well, you know, we're going on this trip. We just racked our credit card, da, 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 and let them get, you know, unload. Doesn't mean they're not going to get it. What, what it means is, is you're identifying what the underlying primary concern is. You figure out the number one concern, and guess what? You can offer a solution. Problem, solution, that's it. And you see, when you, when you get that, you offer the solution, and the solution is the problem is always some sort of money. We know that. We're going to talk about master closing next time, right? We're going to really get into how to become a power closer without being pushy, okay? But you know it's money. So, so all you really got to do, ladies and gentlemen, okay, is just create more desire on the benefits that they like and minimize the money. How do we minimize the money? Well, easiest is tax benefits. How do we minimize the money? We talk about the long-term investment and how it pays for itself and how it's a one-time lifetime investment. How do we, how do we reduce the money? We help, we help them get a smaller sack. Does that make sense? There's so many ways we reduce the money. It, it just, you know, it's pennies a day, really, when it comes down to it. But the trial close, and we're going to get more into this next time, the trial close is the magic. You test their interest, and then you deal with the concern in advance, if possible, okay? So, and then we're going to show the sets, okay? I'm going to, I'm going to cover this high level, and we're going to land the plane and wrap up, okay? When we're showing the sets, closing is a sequence. There's nothing creative about it. Choose the set, choose the gifts, choose the method of payment. So if there's an area of concern and something they want to think about, it's either the thinking about what size set fits my needs and my budget, what gifts do I want to complement the set, okay? And how am I going to afford to pay for it? Does that make sense? Set, gift, method, payment. If there's any area of concern after you've done a great demo, those are the only questions to answer, okay? Now, um, so we're not going to go through all the little details, okay? But we're going to show you some tips and techniques that make it easier. And that's when we're talking about closing. Closing, once they agree that this is the set they like, and if it fit their budget, they'd be interested. It's, it's not a matter of yes or no, okay? It's a matter of options, this or that, this or that, this or that, this or that. Can I make a recommendation? This or that, this or that, this or that. And they yes themselves to a final yes. Okay, once they say yes, we do what's called a sale after the sale so that we future pace and they feel confident that they made a great decision. So they don't wake up next to tomorrow morning and think, you know, did I, was this, uh, was this the right investment? Did I make a mistake, right? You wanna be able with the sale after the sale, keep that sale going. So emotion, when the motion recedes, the logic is there, they're rock solid and they know they made a great investment, okay? And of course, we invite them to open house and we always do a follow-up on the bookings, okay? Whether they buy or they don't buy, you text a thank you immediately after the show. You text a thank you. This is a must. You've got to text a thank you. And you know what? That's part of your text templates. That's saved in your phone. So it's like, well, however you got it set up, boom, you got a shortcut, populates. Thank you so much for helping me in my contest. I'm totally committed to helping you get your salad master machine, your walk. I will give you a call tomorrow, okay? And I promise I'm gonna treat your friends with the same level of respect. Thank you so much again. Welcome to the Salad Master family, okay? So you just, just an immediate thank you because last impressions are what? Lasting impressions. So be, you know, really be a person that's amazing with your follow-up. Now, I'm gonna just uh, show up a, a couple more quick little things here, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, you will have an assignment, okay? I'm going to highlight fab. Uh-oh, what happened here? I have no idea what happened here. Okay. All right, there it is. Okay. Okay, fab, features and benefits. Okay, we talked about this before. But uh, all I'm going to talk to you about is the procedure, not the answer. 
So the procedure is very simple. 316 is the, the, the noun, the verb is what it does. We already talked about what it does. But more importantly than the fact that it, uh, it's non-reactive and it cooks without oil, the ultimate benefit is it changes your life. Write that down. See, all benefits need to have an ultimate benefit and that is how it's going to impact me positively, okay? Um, so all benefits will have an ultimate benefit and the true power, this is by the way, this is an, another, this is really another uh, clinic altogether here. But what we wanna do is if somebody doesn't have 316, that means they have 1810 or 304, okay? So if they don't have that, what's the disadvantage? Make sense? Am I choppy? Am I okay? My audio is okay? Okay. So, um, so if you don't have 304, here's the disadvantage I'm living with. Um, my food's going to stick. It's going to be harder to clean. I'm going to be forced to use oil. Does that make sense? Okay. Carrot and the stick, ladies and gentlemen. This is human psychology. Okay. People will like the carrot, but they'll do more to avoid the stick. Okay. So the problem that most people have with their demo is they make it all flowery. It's all about benefits. They don't talk about the consequences or the disadvantage of not owning the product. See, if people don't change, they're gonna have to live with the consequences. And that's the ultimate price that one has to pay is not being an owner because they suffer and they continue to live with the disadvantages. Are you with me? And I know that you're saying, James, that sounds a little dramatic. No, it's not. It's contrasting the benefit with the disadvantage. Every feature, okay, has an equal opposite. So if I don't have 316, I've got something that's porous, I got something that's reactive, I got something that sticks, I got something that's hard to clean. It's the exact opposite of the benefit. You with me? You can stack disadvantages, you can stack pain, and that's what creates urgency for people to say yes now. It's more than just the free electric skillet for buying today. Does that make sense, Victoria? If you wanna get more people, everybody likes the product, but if you wanna get more people going, I like it, I need it, I must have it now, okay? It's by being okay with letting them know the consequences. See, if you didn't get a set of salad masks, or the disadvantage is, is cooking on that 304 stainless steel, you're, you're, you're gonna be living with the, the inconvenience of sticking food and harder to clean. And of course, having that chemical reaction, those nasty flavors going into your food. If I, have, if I don't have a temperature control system of a vapor valve and I have a steamer, the disadvantage is I'm exposing my food to extremely high heat and I'm breaking down the nutrition very rapidly and I'm feeding my family with food that is, that is lacking nutrition, empty calories. How can we expect to have a strong immune system if we're eating food that's denourished in the cooking process? Do you see the consequence? Can you feel the pain? The disadvantage, ladies and gentlemen, is the urgency that makes it easier for people to say yes. Here's the thing. You can't, you can't make a horse drink. You can lead him to water, right? But you can't make him drink. Your job is to make him thirsty, right? They're going to want to drink. Put a little bit of salt and they will drink the water, okay? So if it's aluminum bottom, if it's just slab bottom cookware, what's the disadvantage of that? Well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to heat only from the bottom. So you got to sit there constantly stir. It's going to take longer to cook. And then you're going to be forced to go out at restaurants. That's going to cost you a lot more money. And then the quality of food isn't going to be that great. Okay. So doesn't it make sense to actually say yes to Salamaster now? We can say that disadvantage of a screw on handle, the disadvantage of not having a vacuum seal, and the disadvantage of having a cheap cookware. Does that make sense? Okay, now I know I, I, I'm getting a little bit dramatic here, but I get so passionate about Salamaster, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? I truly believe that I'm the one with the gift, okay? I, I, get, I get to go home and cook on Salamaster. I want these people to have the same benefits that I live with. Now, you're not a professional until you evaluate yourself. Write that down, okay? Until you can see yourself do a demo, until you can hear yourself doing a demo, you are not a professional. If you're doing a virtual show, we're recording this now. Guess what? You need to record your virtual shows. You need to evaluate it with your distributor, with your trainer, with your dealer. And they, that way you become hyper-conscious of what you say, how you say it, and incrementally how you can do it in a funner, faster, most, more value-added way. Okay? When you break down your demo, here is uh, the last thing I'm going to share with you. Okay? When you break down your demo to be a student of the business, what you really want to do is you wanna have somebody experienced evaluate you, okay? And break down your show into 
Are you building rapport? Uh, how's the questions of the lifestyle question? Are you really explaining the three objectives at the beginning of the show? Your flip chart, you break it down into the different points of the flip chart. Your pot test, are you doing the little things that make the big difference? Is it fair? Is it good? Is it excellent? What comments can I make? Okay, when I'm showing the sets, do I do a good job of creating urgency with the dinner show bonus for people buying it to? Am I doing a good job of upselling? Am I doing a good job of downselling? Do I know how to do all the paperwork? Okay, and so I break it down so that uh, we, we actually get to specific areas of the demo that you can improve on. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, in our office, there's people that get paid less than $100 a dinner, and there's people that get paid close to $1,000 a dinner. They're both good people, right? Some of the people getting paid $100 a dinner or less, they have degrees. Some of the people that are making $1,000 or more a dinner, guess what? They just graduated from high school, right? Doesn't make them better, right? But you got to be a student of the business. And I'm telling you, folks, you know what? There comes a point in this business when you're getting, when you're in startup mode, your first year, your first two years, there's so much to learn, okay? But be a student of the business. Be, this is a journey, okay? This is your business and embrace this as your business. You're not working for your dealer, except this is you're the CEO of your own company. And the time you invest today will compound as long as you keep booking and cooking, right? Stay focused on your vision. Get clear on your mission. Go back on the notes from last week. And more importantly, I blasted you in 90 minutes, okay? <clears throat> what I'm asking you to do now is take the time, review the notes, find a team member that you can role play this and get, get the stuff integrated because I'm telling you, this business is so easy, but you got to get to a tipping point. You got to get to a tipping point. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to do a final drawing, but I'm going to tell you next week's going to be a blast. Okay. Because it's all stacking on top of each other here. And I know we're already at the halfway point. Can you imagine? Okay. You've already completed two of the four. Every second week, we're doing this again. So, um, uh, Teresa, what we're going to do is we're going to do the end time drop. We're going to give away the oval baked dish. Now, I'm telling you, this time of year, this is great for marinating your, your meats, your fishes, your seafood, your vegetables for the barbecue. And by the way, the other day, I actually was lazy. I didn't want to put it on the barbecue. So I actually put it on here. I started the barbecue on medium high, preheated, put it down, turned it down to low, made the most beautiful salmon in seven minutes. Okay. Try it. You'll like it. But first, you got to win it. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Get ready to spin the magical wheel and wrap this up. Teresa, the end time draw. Somebody's going to win this oval baked dish. Could it be you? Could it be you? Sorry, I got the bacon rose pan in there. Oh, did they get the cheap one or the expensive one? Are we going to give them 18.8 or are we going to give them the, the 304? Okay, give it a spin. Go ahead, Teresa. Oh, my goodness. Regilin, you just missed it. Rose A. Rose A. Rose A, congratulations. Where's Rose A? We want to see you, Rose. Okay. Where's Rose? Is Rose still there? We got to see, is Rose still there, Teresa? I'm not seeing her. This could be expensive, Rose. If Rose went to the bathroom, no, Rose is still there. Okay, type in the chat box, Rose, what office you're from, so we can send that to. Ladies and gentlemen, you are becoming masters of the salad master. And I want to thank you for taking the time for being a student and investing in you, the most important asset out there right now. So I wanted to say, Let's practice, let's apply, okay? And there, it's, it's all about doing dinners, guys, okay? So go out there, apply it. Don't look for perfection. Go out there, do some shows this weekend. Let's wrap the month out. We only got four days left, okay, in the Tesla contest, but we're making a big announcement tomorrow night. So watch for that announcement. Want to thank you all. Peace out. We'll see you next time. Hi everyone, thank you. Rose, make sure that you um, text me 714-853-2412. Text me your dealership. Bye everyone, thank you. Hey guys.